to another episode of Coco TV. This is not a vlog. It is going to be the start of a new series, which is going to be for my perfume collection. Yes, honey. Um, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hi, girls. So welcome to episode one of our new series, and it's going to be um our fragrance fragrance any type of like smell goods body sprays perfumes body oils anything like that that's what this series is going to be about and this is episode one Yay! i'm so excited so i have um okay so i don't have like that much of a of a collection just yet because i mean hey we all have to start somewhere so i'm building up the collection right but um last year <laughs> before my life fell apart <laughs> Um, I was starting to get into fragrances uh, with my friend, uh, with Lisa, you girls know, you girls know the story. Well, I mean, if you're an OG, I'm me an OG, but I mean, if you're an OG, then like, you know the story, so, mm -hmm. yeah. But anyways, we were starting to get into fragrances and everything like that, but, um, all kinds of things happened and we didn't end up, well, I, I, I don't know what she does, but I didn't end up, um, buying like, any fragrances or like anything like that because I was doing all kinds of other stuff. Anyways, so now that I'm like in a good place and everything, I thought like, wouldn't it be so fun to do like a fragrance series and um, we can add like maybe like one to three um, perfumes a month and just like add on to our collection, add on, add on, add on. Uh, yes, I think that's going to be so cute and so fun because it'll be so fun to see it grow from right now. I have one, two, three, four, five, five fragrances and I wear these literally all the time. Um, so it'll go from five to like 500. I don't know. Cause honestly, I really, really, really love like, okay. So on my for you page for like TikTok and stuff, um, and, and the gram too, that's all I have on there. It's just like fragrance. Well, not all, but I have fragrance, nails, fashion, and like food and travel. Those are like the five things that I have. Oh yeah. And then makeup and hair, you know, like a typical feed, like whatever. Oh, and home decor too. Okay. Anyways though, um, I want to share my, my collection with you girls and as it grows, I'll share that with you as well. And then, um, next month we can go get another fragrance or we can just add to it and we can talk about it and everything like that. And like the notes and everything like that. Oh, I need my other phone because I was going to, um, Google the notes and stuff so that we can talk about that. Damn. I actually wanted to have that ready before I started, but oh, fuck it, bitch. We already started. Okay. So the very first um, perfume that we're gonna do is, oh my God, I get so many compliments on this. Um, it is called Valentino, hold on, let me get like the whole ass like name for real, for real. Um, Valentino, okay. So this is the Valentino and I love it because it's literally so cute. Like look at the bottle, it's really adorable. Honestly, when this runs out, I'm probably gonna get like a bigger one and another one because it's such a sweet, like delicious scent. Oh, by the way, um, I like to smell, well honestly, any smells that like smell good, like I want them, I'll take them. But I noticed that I'm more of like, um, like a floral type of scent girl and like, um, like fruity, fruity scents and like a uh, sweet scents, you know, just, uh, just things that smell like delicious like that's me that's me I, I want to smell delicious all the time uh one of my favorite compliments is being told that I smell good because like I know that I look good like okay like I have eyes okay like whatever but like you don't know what I smell like until like I walk up on you and I walk past you and if you're like damn like you smell good I'm like who me <laughs> me <laughs> me like yeah bitch you you know <laughs> so I love that okay so this is Valentino Donna born in Roma uh, ooh, ooh, de, ooh, de Parfume, is that how you, I don't know, listen honey, I'm just like barely getting into like the fragrance world in case, I'm not sure um, how you pronounce it, but it is an EVP, and um, this actually has all uh, close to 6,000 reviews, and almost a five star, that's how good it is, like this, this fragrance is really so delicious, um, and so the description of it is, um, this perfume is a modern haute couture of Flor Florential? Okay, me look, acting like I can't read, but I like I can, but I'm struggling right now, okay? Um, so it says, three qualities of jasmine bring a luxurious uh, femininity that is blended with vanilla, bourbon, and the most expensive extract in the world. Come on, most expensive extract in the world. And uh, when I tell you, like, this literally gets so many compliments. Like, it literally gets so many compliments. I went to um, Armani's birthday dinner. You girls saw that 
that um vlog like i guess two vlogs ago now but um i had this oh my god dude this smells so good mm. i would spray it but i'm already wearing something and i just don't want to like they mix well and everything but like damn i just don't want to spray it anyways i had this on and um when i sat down um one of one of his friends was like oh you smell good and i was just like that's like that's literally like my favorite compliment and it's funny too because you can hear me saying that's my favorite compliment in the background of like his video so i just i just think that that's so funny but anyways yeah um this is so delicious that i feel like to me like this is like a scent that you would wear probably like when it's hot and like when it's like summer just because like honestly you can wear it whenever you want honey but i'm just saying um when it's hot and, and when it's summer just because like i feel like it'll it would like really like radiate all of your body like a lot a lot a lot and it's just it's such a delicious scent like it's fruity it's a sweet it's soft but at the same time like it's so, like it's just so magical so if you girls have not checked out this scent please do if you're someone who likes fruity scents because yeah honey um it's really good and the one that i have is the um it's the one ounce and it was only 85 bucks so yeah and honey let me tell you worth every single spray worth every single spray so mm -hmm. there's that one okay next one is actually let me see if i can pull up the um notes and things let's see where is this from again oh victoria's secret victoria's secret victoria's secret has um good perfumes and recently um the boys put me on to uh zara zara perfumes they said that they that they smell really good so i'm gonna have to check those out this one to me is more like um and look at look at the bottle that comes it's so beautiful huh um but this one to me is something that you wear like just like whenever like um if you're gonna go to like the post office or something really quick or like do errands or something really quick but like you're not like like super like dressed up like type of vibe it's just like literally something that you would just spray on yourself because like it smells good and that's like about it you know what i mean like yeah so to me this one is kind of um like a powdery scent but you know what's crazy though if you're someone who's like sensitive to smells um i would say um maybe don't get this or test it out because i never really knew that um a scent or like a fragrance can give you a headache but i feel like when I wear this, um, it does give me a headache. So I try not to spray it on like the top of me, more like just like on like the legs type of thing, you know, and like from like here down. Cause I feel like when I do wear this, like my head, like I be like getting a headache, which I'm like, why, why do I feel weird? And it's like, oh, because I'm wearing heavenly. That's why, mm -hmm, yeah. But okay, so it says um, gold musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and white peony are um the notes in this no what's crazy is that i actually the way that i discovered this scent was um i always i used to key taxes i used to key taxes um at night for the irs right and um we used to have to like uh like all sign in on this little like pad little thing or whatever and um i was behind a girl who uh was signing in and i and i smelled this coming off of her and i was like dude i was like what what is that what is that scent like what what are you what are you wearing and she told me that it was this and then um i literally went and got it probably like the next day it's a really good scent it's um to me it's like powdery and um i guess the scent that i smell the most out of it is probably um the sandalwood because like to me yeah the sandalwood and the musk because to me like i don't really get like vanilla from this but it says that, that vanilla is um is one of the, the top notes in it but i don't know honey i don't really get vanilla from it but what i can tell you is that this is a really um delicious um fragrance just for something just like to wear like real quick for the day mm, when i when i spray this i feel like it smells like a like powdery fresh like you know like Mm, and like a little small hint of sweet but like not so much like definitely not sweet like the um like the donna definitely not at all not even similar whatsoever two completely different fragrances but both bomb all right moving on this one actually um uh, i dead ass have like two sprays left in this this one was actually a gift um from tay on my birthday and this is um juicy couture viva la juicy i feel like if you know um 
if you if you just i don't know have ever like wanted to smell good or whatever this is like an og ass one like it's like right up there with um like britney spears fantasy which by the way i still wear that to this day i don't have any to like show but i wear that i love that scent something about it is just like nostalgic for me but also at the same time like it's just so good dude like i love i love love, love. the one in the purple bottle not the not the like navy bluish one the one in the purple one like the og one chef's kiss anyways though um so this is juicy couture viva la juicy and um it had a cute little bow on it this is how it looks like it had a cute little um bow on it but i think i lost it in like one of my purses but yeah because i keep this like in my purse because like it's just like cute enough to um to or cute enough and small enough to fit in there and um it's a really good fragrance like it's kind of um like to me like a fragrance that like if you're out and about like something that you just spray on like quick on you you know what i mean like if you're about to i don't know like go into the club or something you could like spray it all in your hair and like spray it on your body like type of thing you know and like you won't feel bad for spraying it hella 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 like yeah it's really good so let's see if we can look up notes um viva let's see mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm not sure where Tay got this from, but right now when I just when I just pulled it up on Google, um, it shows $68, and it has uh, more than 9,000 reviews with a 4.7 stars. So, honey, <laughs> the girls don't lie. This is a good one, um, and it really is though. It's it's like a such like a like a cute scent. Like I know that sounds like kind of weird, but like it is. Like it's like a like a cute like scent, you know? Okay, let's see if we can find a, a Zen notes for it. Okay, so it says, opening on wild berries and mandarin orange notes, the fragrance continues on a sweet honeysuckle and jasmine tones with creamy caramel hints sealing its intoxicating appeal. Launched in 2008 by Juicy, um, Viva La Juicy is a fem feminine scent that teases and captivates the senses. I would agree with whoever wrote this description. Yes, it's giving fantastic copyright because this is like, this little scent is like, I don't know it's so good like it's it's so good and um when Tay gave this to me on my birthday like I remember being like oh like, I just want to put it like on my um little vanity that I have uh next to my bed like I don't want to spray it but then when I spread it I was like oh bitch I'm gonna spray the hell out of this I'll just get another one and I'm really glad that I decided to do that because like it honestly it smells so good and like I said it's like the perfect thing to like carry in your bag um if you just want to spray it like real quick to like wherever you're going you know okay next is this one actually is a body oil it's not um it's not a perf it's not a it's not a perfume so this is actually from skin potion and let me tell you it's crazy because i literally have been using this like using this and not even like it's not even like that much down it's because a, a little of this stuff goes a long way honey like this shit is fire shout out to um peyton marie charles for putting me on to skin potion because honey when i tell you i'm obsessed i'm obsessed like i can't wait um until i go to tulum next next month because i feel like this type of scent is like the scent that i need to have on my body while i'm on the beach honey smelling good oh yes okay so this is the kama sutra revitalizing body oil and um the only two things that it says here is that it's created with sea buck uh sea buckthorn and bulgarian rose and honey when i tell you this is like something that you have never never smelled before in your entire life i mean that like this literally like okay so i have two bathrooms in my house right and the bathroom that's right here um is where i keep this and i swear when you come to like half of the hallway you can already smell it like it's it's such a delicious delicious smell like oh i don't know like i don't even know like how this was made or like what what but this is something that you have never smelled before in your entire life and let me tell you um this one i think it was like i think this was like 80 dollars or something like that but honey when i tell you it's worth every penny it's worth every penny and it doesn't leave your um skin like all greasy you know sometimes like um like oils will leave you like greasy or like sticky or something no honey not at all like mm. this is something that you've never smelled in your entire life this i like to put this um down first and then put um the last fragrance that i'm about to show you and this one is my all-time like signature fragrance well if it's not britney spears fantasy then it's this one that, um that i'm about to show to you and it's literally so delicious but if you know me 
you know what it is. Hold on, let me um let me already have it pulled up on Google A so that um so that we can read the notes because this shit when I tell you it's just oh this and this fragrance by the way is a unisex um fragrance and it is absolutely delicious. It is the Al Haramein Amber Oud Gold Edition. And this is the one that I was, I talked about this in a, a video randomly. I can't, I don't remember like why I talked about it. Oh, I think I was like gonna go um, with the boys like on a walk or something. I had sprayed this on me like before I went on a walk because honey, like I wanna smell good while I'm on the walk. But this is what I'm wearing right now. And I just, I cannot get enough of this. This is such an intoxicating, um, fragrance that like you can't anyone anyone who smells you wearing this is going to ask you what are you wearing and I, I could I don't want to say I'll bet my life on it that's a little dramatic but I could say that I would say nine and a half times out of ten I've been asked what are you wearing and I just, I'm just like, I'm, ha I'm happy to tell. I'm happy to tell. I'm like, oh, and, um, it's Al Haramein Amber Oud Gold Edition. Like, I'm, I'm happy to tell, you know. And it's just, it's so good because if everybody could get this, they should get this. This one, um, I get this from FragranceNet.com, and it cost, it cost, it cost. Um, let me see, FragranceNet. I think this usually like with taxes and like shipping and everything like that, it comes out to like uh, like 55 bucks or something like that. And honey, let me tell you. Oh! Mm. And one thing about this, well, one thing that I really love, even after you wash your clothes, your clothes are still gonna smell like this. Which I don't know, some people might not like that, but me, that shows the fact that like the longevity of it, like this ain't no hoe, okay? Like, nah, like don't play with her. So, anyways, um, the notes are sweet, fruity, uh, osnic, o ozinic, osniac, amber, fresh, musky, um, powdery, aquatic, vanilla, and woody. And um, it's just it's just amazing, dude. This is this is a fragrance that's. Mm. So it says top notes are bergamot and green notes. Middle notes are sweet notes, melon pineapple and amber base notes are musk vanilla and woody and honey when i tell you like honestly i don't really like know what that means but um i it's probably spot on because this it's it's got such like a delicious scent that when you smell it you're like your um your senses are automatically activated like you can't like you can't help but ask someone what is that what like what is that that, that you're wearing like what is that you smell really good you smell really good i remember i used to wear this um at night too when i would work at um when i work at the irs um at the at the old building and i remember it was like probably like my third day there and a guy had sat next to me and he was like he was like is it you and i was like is it me what because like, like the way that he approached it was like a little bit weird you know and he's like is it you that smells so good and I was like, um, I had put my arm out. I was like, is this what you're smelling? And he was like, yes. And so yeah, I was like, ah, it's me. But yeah, this is my this is my baby, dude. Like this, I feel like is a scent that I'll wear until I'm like in the grave because it really smells that good. And that's like what I want to do, like on my um on my perfume journey, my fragrance journey, and everything. It's like find scents that are so delicious that like I have to have them. I absolutely, I have to have them. I cannot live without it. I need it. I want it. Add to cart checkout. Like that's the kind of stuff that I want to um, find. So yeah. So that is all. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. That is all five of my fragrances that I have right now in my collection. And as the collection grows, um, of course, I'll take you girls along with me and show you all of our new finds and things like that and let you know like how long they last and things like that. Oh, P.S. Out of all of these, um, the one that lasts the most, um, I would say is the Amber Oud and then, um, the Valentino and then, um, the Body Oil and then Heavenly and then, uh, Viva La Juicy. But they're also delicious. I love them all equally and I feel like I can't wait to build my collection more and more and more up and then be one of the girlies who has you know one of those beautiful like glass 
um, cases with like all of their like fragrances and stuff in them. I see those all the time on the ground. I'm just like, dude, that's gonna be me one day. But obviously, like it takes time to build like a superior freaking collection like that. So, and I've got, I've got time, honey. I've got time. Anyways, I love you girls so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.